back in 1981, I was in H Block 3 in Long Cash on the blanket. That was the day that Bobby Sands began his hunger strike. Bobby was in the same block as me, and when we went to Mass that morning, I waited until Bobby was leaving Mass and went over to shake hands with him and wish him well. I wasn't sure what to say because I think we all had a sense of foreboding and what was going to happen, that it was inevitable almost that Bobby would die. But I went over and shook hands with him uh, and wished him good luck. Uh, and that uh, was the beginning of Bobby's hunger strike. He would die 66 days later. Of course, there were hundreds of us on the blanket at the time. Uh, we had come through the first hunger strike at the end of 1980. And this time, there was a sense that it was inevitable that someone would die. And it was a measure of the man that Bobby Sands was, that he decided that person would be him. And he put himself out front on the hunger strike to be joined at intervals by other men. There was a sense of a, a dark cloud hanging over the blocks, uh, but immense pride in Bobby. Uh, and a sense that we wouldn't be defeated, that we wouldn't accept criminalization, and that ultimately we would be victorious.